Yes, we are. Because you're right. on the top left hand side of two iron. In the green Zerg trunk, he plays for Psystorm Gaming. It is Stefan Penguin Mott. All right. Oh, I got to turn the music back on. It keeps going off for some reason. There we go. All right. And his opponent in the bottom right currently up one game. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Currently down one game is what I meant to say. I'm dyslexic sometimes, so bear with me, everybody, as I do that. Because <laughs> these are, it's because the names are switched. There we go. Now Penguin's on top, disrespect on bottom. He is our mm. pink Terran player. Give it up for disrespect. He needs some energy. He needs to get a win under his belt. Yeah, he's currently down 1 0. But that nah, nah, could go nah. anyway. Now, just all of that being said, I know this build out of. I use this build from Penguin. Um, Pneumatized Carapace of this quickly, three bases. There's a 70% chance or so that he's doing queen drops. Um, very, very early, early, very yep, early. Yep. Uh, I would be cool to see. Absolutely, you're up one game. Why not? Might as well go something for a little bit unconventional. That's actually not too out of the uh, out of the ordinary these days. Seeing those queen actually, roach drops or Nidus play of some sort with the queens, just getting those for, queens across. For Penguin. This is standard. Yeah. Like, I'm not even joking. This guy, uh, <laughs> he funny. is known for this type of thing. So we'll see if he actually commits to it. Um, the third base kind of throw me off a little bit. Normally he does that on one to two bases. So maybe he's got a little uh, variance on this build. Awesome. Yeah, we'll see. I personally uh, like this map a lot. I'm very glad they kept it in the map pool. Oh, yes, Overlord indeed. getting chased down by a squad of Marines. We'll be able to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Disrespect sees the, the Overlord's feet, though. I wonder if that'll tip him off. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's possible, but the fact is, he still doesn't have an evolution chamber, so I'm thinking in the drops are about to miss their window. So we'll see where he goes. Um, where he goes with this, because there is a layer on the way that's telling me it's something else. I misread that initial build. But guess what? I'm really happy to report, man. Stim pack is about to be finished, so we won't see any crazy stuff like we did last time. Yeah. Stimpak is such a good upgrade to hold that early Zergling, whatever pressure that might be coming mm -hmm. at you. But yeah, both these players just macroing up a little bit. Ooh, here comes the first drop, a double medevac getting loaded yeah. up. Almost full. One Marine shy there, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. Still going to be able to pack a punch with that stim. And as you can see, uh, Penguin's already got his army in a really strong position. Go north if needed. You can also go south where these two medevacs are headed. And Stimpak completing in 10 seconds. Indeed, we have a Hydralist Den getting about halfway finished there, but there's not going to be any Hydralist available for this attack. Just Queens and Zerglings going to fight off Creep will actually push that away. Almost getting a medevac as well. Now, if you are a Zerg player and you're trying to figure out how to deal with drops, that is a textbook using. Do not let your Queens fight Marine. The Marines can out DPS Queens, and the medevac can heal a Marine, so you're never going to win that battle. Your Queens target the medevac. The medevac has to leave, and then the attack is over. That was textbook. Drop the thing from our zone. Getting a creep tumor. Nothing yeah. feels good like that. Just one though. Might have to use the scan to clean up a little more. Yeah, disrespects creep already starting to stretch everywhere. He has been on point with mm -hmm. those queens that he built. All four of them yeah. at the front. Gonna be able to Disrespect. try to deflect another attack here. Disrespects creep spread is indeed amazing, man. Yeah, it's really solid. So yeah, you he's looking good. He you realize this Penguin's away. the Zerg, right? Wait, what did I say? Ah, oh, my dyslexia. <laughs> Penguin. That's what I meant to say. Penguin. <laughs> no, that's fine, man. Disrespect trying to clear out the green thread. Uh, you know, I, I know you all know who, who I meant. The one with the <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to be that guy from chat who just points that out. Thanks. All right. Speaking of Penguin, he's got a Baneling Nest now, so he's getting all the tech buildings. Also has some upgrades, has that plus one missile range, plus one mm -hmm. carapace to make his arm units a little beefier, as well mm -hmm. as that speed for the Hydralis, that muscular augmentation. Well, okay, so let me ask you this. This is the second time we've seen him commit to like the Roach Ravager style, in especially with his upgrades. Um, you're definitely seeing like people doing Hydras, Hydra Wing, all that type of stuff. But what do you think of like the full out commitment with the road, with like the range upgrade? With the range, uh, what do you mean? With the melee range upgrade? Or the range damage upgrade? Yeah, the range damage upgrade as opposed to the melee da uh, upgrade. Because for all of like Zerg vs. Terran, you're always seeing like Lings and Bane Lings with like the melee upgrades. You very rarely see the range. 
right? Unless it's like anti-mech or Ravager type stuff, but clearly Disrespect's not doing it. Well, he's got enough Hydras out. He definitely wants that extra damage from Oh, wow, big Bailing Morphin as well, yeah. I think a plus one uh, melee attack might be really good, especially since the Marines have combat shield. But here we go, Hydra is going to start trying to engage these Stim Marines as they push up straight into the Zerg's base. He is being super bold, and it pays off. Oh yeah, and this is actually a really powerful push. Wow. Did you notice that he was able to defend all of those minions without ever even sieging that tank? I he thought didn't he was even have to split. He just no. gunned them down. They didn't stand Dude. a chance. Could you imagine being <laughs> one of those marines and just staring death in the face like that? And oh, like, they're, they're you and all your it. friends shooting, blowing up all these banelings, and then you look to your friend and be like, Hey man, you got a little banelings to do one like that. Yeah. Wow, that was impressive. Banelings speed wasn't finished up, so these marines able to do a ton of damage. Here we go, they're going to continue pushing forward. A few more banelings trying to come in, still with no speed. It looks like this is going to be mm -hmm. game number one. Going, or game number two going to disrespect. Oh, I think I yeah. had the score wrong. How did that switch around? I had. Oh. Uh, anyway, it's I think one when one. You hit, Ignore I my think score if you that hit, I had. If you hit backspace, <laughs> I think that's it. Oh uh, yeah, maybe. Anyway, switch that's all right. We're yeah. gonna go back. So I want to. I want to actually talk about that game. So imagine how different that would have been had we had, um, uh, like, Ling Baneling instead of like the Roach Hydra Baneling composition there. We would have had Baneling speed by then. We uh -huh. would have had um, plus one melee, either completed or on the way, which would have killed a lot more of those Marines had anything actually connected. And of course, the reason it didn't connect is there wasn't a meat shield there for the Baneling. Yeah. The speed. Roaches and the Hydras. Yeah, the well, yeah, or the Roaches and the Hydras all swung left with the, uh, the Banelings coming down from the north. So I think a lot of that was really just composition. I think Disrespect had finally found a uh, a little linchpin in that that build where he can he can take advantage of. Yep. Indeed. All right. It. So yeah, that was just a solid game. I I don't have much more to do. you covered pretty much everything. Disrespect playing solid. That that attack was incredible to watch. Yeah, those Marines were just so bold. I think right that that obviously right there was what really won him the game. Was just that beautiful engagement before the Banelings could get anything done. So well played, well played indeed. But uh, yep, we're gonna go to uh, another quick break, I believe. Anything else you wanna say? Yep. Now, man, take it over, Master Ceremonies. All right, well, thank you all for tuning in again to the Sunday Skirmish. If you're just joining us, be sure to hit that follow button so you know when we go live again with this awesome event that we're starting to hopefully do every Sunday in 2018. But we're gonna be right back after a quick little break. Um, I believe, do you want me to run a commercial? Uh, yes. All right, so yeah, we're going to do a quick commercial break here, and then we're going to have game number three ready to go. So everybody stay tuned. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.